Essay two, um, actually, let me come back to essay two because essay two, essay one is, is something you should be writing today, right now. <laughs> essay two is something I think you should be researching. I think you don't need to write essay, well, if you're not applying for, let's say, another month, if you don't plan to submit, right, Columbia's rolling, if you don't plan to submit for another month from today, you should continue definitely start if you haven't or, or continue researching essay two. I'll come back to that in a bit. But let me jump over now to essay three, which I think is a wonderful brainstorming activity for you to list all the options. So there's essay three A and there's essay three B. Uh, you got to choose one. One of them is tell us what you're passionate about. And the other one is show us, right, what you would do on a good day. As, a, as an admissions consultant, I'm often telling my clients, show, don't tell. But in this case, I'm not actually suggesting that you must choose A or B. I think the, the point would be choose whatever story adds the most value to your application. Some of my clients are niche applicants, very deep. Um, they, they have a very strong and deep abiding passion and, and industry background in one specific thing, which is absolutely sort of kind of all they do, but they're amazing at it. Um, and it's, it's what they're going to keep doing in a different way or scale up or something. S not everybody has to be well-rounded to get admitted to Columbia. You can be a very narrow niche person, but it's risky. It's more risky because you don't know the rest of the applicant pool. You don't know we always sort of think we're more unique than we really are. Um, so usually most of my app, most of my clients and most of you, I would suggest use essay three, whether it's A, uh, tell us what you're passionate about, or B, show us what you would do on your dream day. Use that essay 3A or 3B to share something new about yourself, either something brand new that's not in the application data form, which is hard. Columbia application data form is... Uh, questions, there's a lot of them, not as many as Stanford or Harvard, but Columbia application form has a lot of little boxes and you should fill them as much as you can with real stuff that you've done. Um, so 3A or 3B might not be a total surprise, but it'll certainly be with 250 words as opposed to 200 or whatever characters, right? You've got more space to tell a full story and that's exactly what I suggest you do here. And for now, today, right now, after watching this video, write essay one, and then take a mental break, and essay three, brainstorm. Lists of things I'm passionate about, hobbies, ways I spent my time last week, last month, last year. If it's something you haven't done since you were 10 years old, maybe it's not gonna make the final cut, but list it for now. Or if it's an activity that's not likely to have anything, so let's say let's say you're a surfer, and you your dream day would be gathering five of your best friends and going surfing in some amazing location. You know, I just heard, for example, someone told me that North Island of Japan, Hokkaido has amazing surfing. So let's say you, and I'm here in Japan, I'd say, um, if I was a surfer, I'm not, but I'd go to North Hokkaido with, and I'd bring over this buddy from that time of my life and that person from that time of life and my son and my wife, and we'd all go surfing because it'd be amazing. That might be an amazing story and that might be the honest answer to the question, um, but it may have nothing to do, I'm, I've lived on campus, I've lived right across the street from Columbia for a while when I was thinking about grad school, school. I've lived in Manhattan. Um, not a lot of surfing right there in Morningside Heights, um, or even at the Jersey Shore, East Coast in general, no offense, is not a hot surf spot. Um, you may not want to write about your dream surfing day. On the other hand, your future goal may be to start a surfboard company or a surf business, and, or you know, whatever. It may reinforce, or you're going to start a or join you know, Columbia Surf Club. I can't, I'm not telling you what not to say. I'm just simply saying it better have something to do with your future, including your future at Columbia in some way, so that the person reading the essay says, ah, we need her on campus because this is something valuable uh, in some way, indirectly or directly to uh, life. And I wouldn't write about surfing, I'd write about music. Those of you who watch my channel know that that's a huge passion of mine. 
And if I were getting an MBA, my future goal would have something to do with music indirectly because it would have something to do with this intersection of the arts and storytelling um, with leadership and training, which is what I do professionally right now is leadership development as it relates to MBA admissions. So um, that's essay one, write it now, essay three, brainstorm it now. And finally, as I promised, essay two, continue to research it now. So gather up stories And as always with any research project, cite your sources, talk to real people, use your network, friends of friends, LinkedIn, whatever it is, find people at Columbia. So SE2 is why Columbia in a sense. Professors, programs, of course, but that stuff's on the internet. What's not on the internet is the real story of so-and-so who's currently running the conference or the club or the activity that you, you know, who's right now, whose shoes you hope to fill or who's sitting in the chair or who has the title uh, that you hope to have in your first or second year on campus at Columbia. Find that person or do your best or find, get as close as you can to that person. Essay two, basically, right now your homework, essay one, your homework is right. 750 words, a thousand words, share it with someone you know and trust, and then begin the process of condensing it down to be a nice, clean 500 words about your goals. Essay three right now, brainstorm three, four, five, ten 10 possible answers for A or B or both, and think about those in conjunction with the rest of your application, including what your recommenders will be saying about you. So essay three is a brainstorming, brainstorming activity. Essay one is absolutely a writing activity, eventually uh, a, a, you know, a rewriting activity. But essay two is fun because you get to have a bunch of conversations with real Columbia students. So use your network, find out someone on campus who's willing to give you time, who will reply to your email, maybe jump on the phone for 10 minutes to find out. You have, but before you talk to them, you have to do all the homework. So you say, yeah, I know you guys are doing, in, the, in, the, in, the, in Club A, you're doing Conference B, and you've got a topic. Uh, you have a panel uh, last year on you know, tech disruption in the operations space or whatever, I'm making this up. I want to, I can do a, I, I want to take over that panel and I want to add something to it. Here's what I want to add. I know these folks from my, from my work network and I want, or I, I know this angle. I'm here in Asia. I noticed the panel last year, most of the speakers were, um, you know, in North America or especially the East Coast. I want to continue that topic, expand that conversation, deepen that conversation. If you present that to them, like on a, on a plate and say, look, I've got this idea. I know what you've done. Uh, I, I know how to make it even better or how to expand it or, you know, evolve it uh, or add to it, not make it better. Maybe that's, you know, but I can add to what you're already doing. This is who I am. This is what I bring to the table. They're going to say, yes, great. And then you've got something to write about in essay two. I've done my homework, right? I've shown, um, talk is cheap. Uh, you know, walk the walk, talk the talk, get them on the phone or meet them in person if you're anywhere near uh, Manhattan or if you can get in, get on campus at some point before submitting your application. All right. This has gone on a little bit long, but I wanted to just give off the, t as you can tell, I'm really excited about these essays and other essays that will be coming out. Thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribers are the first to know when I've uploaded a new video. That's it for now. Best of luck with your applications. Bye-bye.